What's up, my friends? My name is Pi, and welcome to Adorama TV. Now, you're about to watch a video that we actually filmed pre-COVID. When Adorama released the Create No Matter What campaign, I was all for it. I'm all about taking whatever gear you have, going out and just creating great images. So in this video, you're gonna watch the creative process as we start in this parking lot scene and work our way around to creating this unique composition. Now, depending on where you live and the guidelines in your area, you might not be shooting clients quite yet, but grab your family members. One of my favorite things to do right now is just to grab the kids, go out and have a good time shooting. Hope you enjoy the video. My name is Pi, and I'm one of the founders of Lynn and Jersa Photography and SLRLounge.com. We're teaming up with Adorama to bring you a new series of photography tutorials called Master Your Craft right here on Adorama TV. So let's dive in. So let me first introduce our couple. We have Barry and Brooke who are gonna scum stand, scum, scum can't stand with me in the hard, harsh light. We'll post their tags so you guys can follow them. They actually also have a band. They make great music, so check that out as well. And by, yeah, that's... <laughs> Any jokes off that are gonna be <laughs> probably inappropriate for our audience. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start with what not to do, okay? What not to do, we're just gonna take a picture right here with the hard light facing this grass and I'm just gonna, we'll, we'll get a starting place. You know what I mean? Okay. So guys, just stand together and uh, Brooke mentioned like one of the things that she loves is when photographers constantly call her beautiful. Um, especially when Barry's there watching. Um, so I'm gonna shoot this at f4 uh, because I'm not really thinking through anything and uh, we're gonna just show some parking lot and we'll have them just stand there like that and that looks legitimately horrible because we have shot they look fantastic you guys look fantastic I would never say that on an actual client shoot that looks legitimately horrible like no, so uh, this looks not so good, right? Because there's a few things we wanna work through and the first is kind of lighting and light direction. So right now we have this hard, harsh midday sunlight that's coming down and the first correction that I wanna make is light direction. So let's find a better angle on these grass, on these grass. Let's go on these grass, on these grasses. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, open out my my shutter speed a little bit. We're gonna to go to one one thousand of a second. I'm gonna keep it at F4 because I do wanna kinda of show you step by step how this creative process is gonna go. Um, so now we have an image that actually, honestly, if we were to look at it, it looks better than the first shot, right? But now let's kinda of creatively look through some of the different things here. So I wanna start thinking towards composition now. We've already kinda of found a better light direction, but now let's start thinking through compositional pieces of this. We made an improvement. What I want to do now is find a good area of this grass that we can actually place them. And I want to start thinking through to my aperture and what I want to get from the shot. Because while I'm shooting at F4, it looks all right, but I think this grass is going to look really great when we're shooting at wide open, um, F1.4, F2.0, and also if we zoom in. So let's go ahead and just kind of keep walking and find a better spot of grass. So now I'm going to start looking for angles. and. I'm gonna have them just chill, talk, discuss more things that they love about awkward photo shoots, I don't know. Uh, but I'm gonna start finding angles for what I like. And I'm gonna start pulling into the leaves and kind of shooting through objects. And now I'm gonna start making compositional decisions for the camera, right? So the first thing that I want is I do wanna kind of open out the aperture. Let's open this up to f1.4 and let's adjust our light to compensate. So right around here, we start getting a really nice kind of exposure. We're at 1 4,000 of a second, F1.4 and ISO 100. If I look at the histogram, everything is balanced. And this looks nice. Shooting with this direction, we can kind of start getting leaves or the, the branches of the trees to kind of fill the frame. But I'm shooting on a Sigma Art 50 right now and I'm noticing that at the 50 millimeter focal length, I'm still gonna catch quite a bit of background and there's a lot of cars, a lot of busyness around me, right? So I'm gonna make another compositional decision right now. I'm gonna switch over to a tighter lens. If you have an 85, I have the Sigma 105, which has kind of replaced my 85. It's a fun lens, it's a heavy mother, but just letting you know. So let me switch out to that. So this is the place where I have a good 
kind of overall exposure. 14,000 f1.4 to f2, that's gonna be where I'm at, and ISO 100. I'm shooting with a shade white balance so we kind of get a nice warm image out of the camera just to, because it looks nice. Uh, now I'm gonna start placing them into my frame, okay? So what I'm looking at now is lighting direction on the face because what I wanna do is kind of work with the natural light that's coming in. Uh, so if Barry looks down to this side, you can see that triangle shape showing up on his cheek. So we have hard directional sunlight right now, but it is directional. So as long as we kind of control where his face is going, we can use that light and still get a really great light pattern on the face. And same thing with Brooke. If Brooke stays and looks at him right there, we get a beautiful hair light on her and we don't get any of that hard kind of light on the face. So this is where I want them to be. And from here, I'm gonna give them a little cue and direction once I figure out where my exact composition is gonna be. So that's my next step now is where am I gonna stand? I know roughly where I wanna be, but now I'm gonna dial it completely in. So let's go back to here. And Barry, take a tiny, tiny step this way. And Brooke, step into him. In fact, go back a little bit. There, Brooke, look towards him. Barry, look down towards that side. Perfect, right there, brother. All right, now. Brooke, I want you to whisper something into his ear to get him kind of laughing, chuckling a little bit. Beautiful. I love that, guys. So what I'm doing with my composition right now is we're essentially framing out everything that's unwanted. I'm leaving them towards the right side of that frame and we're allowing this entire set of leaves and everything to lead into them. The other fun thing that I can do is I can actually look for one of these branches that just might be dead and on the ground. And if I wanna give them a little more space to the right of the frame, because maybe I think, oh, they're too much on the edge, right? I can pull my frame to the right. If I did that without the leaf, well, if I pull my frame to the right without the leaf, you end up getting kind of the road and potentially the cars in the background, right? So you can kind of see that we have cars on that side. But if I use this to actually conceal that side of my lens, then I don't have to worry about it, right? So I can kind of have a little more control. Okay, so do that same thing. Um, Barry, step in a little bit into Brooke or just kind of get closer to her. There you go. And I want you guys to make it real on this one. This is our actual shot. There it is. Beautiful. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a few ideas and helped you out with this creative process. Now I challenge you to get out and do the same thing. Once again, if you can't work with clients at the time, grab family members, go out, create some images, post them online and use the create no matter what hashtag as well as tag Adorama in your post. Also in this video, as well as other videos that we create, you might notice at the bottom that we list a little post-production recipe. We design and use visual flow development tools and those little recipes will show you how we go from the raw file to the final image. That being said, we will do plenty of full length post-production tutorials, but we figure throwing in the recipe might be helpful for those that do use visual flow as well. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the Adorama TV channel, and I hope to see your comments below. I do try to read through all of them and get ideas for future videos. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.